Hi, YouTube. Hey, YouTube friends and family, it's your boy GB Reviews, and today I am doing a sun basket meal. It's one of the home delivery meals that I think is a good option for the times that we live in because they actually deliver fresh products, organic, to your house, and they give you the recipe cards, and these are the recipe cards, um, and they give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to make this. Today, I'm going to be making Greek meatball with uh, tomato cucumber salad and lemon tahini dressing. So... They send you all the ingredients and I'm going to show you exactly how to make this based on the recipe card. So you're going to follow me through my steps. I'll show you all the products first that they delivered and then um, we will get into the actual cooking of the meal. Today I did not forget my chef shears. Um, these cooking shears make it just easy to cut things open. So I would say definitely make sure you have a good pair of cooking shears and a knife that sharpened. Sharp knife, save your life. All right, this is Sun Basket. Let's get at it. So we're gonna go through the Sun Basket products that were delivered in the bag to me from the delivery service. So you have your organic spinach, your organic milk, an organic Roma tomato, um, organic no antibiotics beef, an organic cucumber, an organic onion, and the za'atar and lemon tahini dressing. With this and salt, plus I like to make my stuff a little bit spicier, so I use my Magic McCormick's Montreal Steak seasoning. Um, with this, we're gonna create a masterpiece. So I want you to follow me step by step. Some things I may end up having to speed up, like when we have to cook the meatballs, but other than that, I'm gonna show you step by step how everything goes, we'll talk through it, and then please hit the like button for the algorithm and I hope that you like the video. And then also, if you have comments or questions, you can DM me or you can put them in the um, messages below, comments below, and uh, please hit subscribe and um, hit that notification bell so you can see when I do additional meals. So we are gonna start. I'm gonna walk you step by step through it and hopefully you can too do meals at home through Sun Basket. Oh, and there's a referral link in this description below so you can get discounts on your first meals with Sun Basket. So as I said, we have our organic spinach, we have all the organic beef and all our organic vegetables. We have our Sun Basket card, which um, shows you exactly what we're making. And so this is Greek meatballs with cu tomato cucumber salad and lemon tahini dressing. Um, this is a paleo type meal. Uh, and the total calories per serving, there's two servings, is 590 calories. Most of the calories that you're gonna get in this is gonna be from your beef meatball. So just remember that every time you get your meals, even if you're one person, it's two servings, so you should serve, uh, should serve two adults. So just remember that. Um, so, and then they have like, these cards are kind of cute. They said, Greek farmers have traditionally enjoyed regional variations of this dish as a mid-morning snack. Our version combines crispy cucumbers, juicy tomatoes and meatballs, spiced with citrusly sumac and minty thyme. A drizzle of our bright lemon tahini dressing ties everything together, so. And then they tell you what's in your bag. The card comes here, tells you what's in the bag. And then the first thing that we have to do is before we cut our vegetables, or let's see, make sure. Um, Yeah, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna prepare our meat first. So I'm gonna put this card back over here and I'm gonna move all my vegetables to the side because we are going to, we're gonna start dressing the meat first, making our meatballs. And then we will get into washing our vegetables and doing everything else. But, so it says, cut a small corner, which is, here we go. We're gonna cut a small corner this is why I said get your chef's shears. And then you're gonna drain the, you're gonna drain whatever blood is in this pack. And then remember what I said, and I say this in all my cooking videos, you have to pat your meat down. So we wanna get a paper towel and we're gonna just cut this the rest of the way open. So we're gonna cut this the rest of the way open. And we are going to pull our meat out. Or maybe we can slide it out. Oh no, we don't wanna slide it out. because. And that just gets too much of the this juice inside this pack to come out. So 
So once you do that, you're going to patch your meat. You're going to drain it and then you're going to pat dry with a paper towel. And I'm going to, I told you, I just, I like to pat my meat down, especially for ground beef and things like that. I pat it down twice. So we're going to pat it down one more time. And we're going to have to clean our cutting board again anyway before we uh, start to clean our meat or cut our vegetables. So you're going to just pat this down and that's going to give you any of the excess liquid that's on this. We're going to get that off of here. Um, and I apologize for not looking at the camera. It's not that I don't want to look at you guys, but I also don't want to lose any fingers if I have to like cut stuff. So the thing that we need first is a large bowl. So we're going to grab a large bowl. Oh, magically, my dishwasher is right where I sit. Large bowl. Ta-da. We love it. Look at that. I'm looking at myself. Uh, and so in a large bowl, you want to ground, you want to combine the ground beef. We're going to put that in a large bowl. Actually, I'm going to wipe this off just because I don't want my bowl to end up with residue on the bottom. And then we're going to take the za'atar and we're going to put that in here. And so if you look at the za'atar, I mean, I don't know if I can show it to you, but basically it's a combination of like seeds, fennel and cumin and all this other stuff, uh, sesame and dried thyme and sumac. Put that back in there. And then it says, combine this in a bowl. You want to season generally with, uh, generously with salt and pepper. So I'm going to take my spicy pepper. And I'm only going to take a little bit of salt. I, I rarely, you see when I cook, I rarely add salt only because um, I don't really like a lot of salt. I think for me, um, I find meat is salty enough as is. So we're going to just combine that all together. So what you want to do is you want to work this meat. Um, you just kind of work it up. You're going to keep working it. You're going to work it with your hands. Um, you can see what I'm doing. I'm working it with my hands. My goal is to try to, to get the meat to collect. I was about to say absorb, but collect all of the, the uh, za'atar. And then you want to turn it like you're turning dough so that you are getting the fennel seeds. So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking my thumb and I'm pushing my thumb to the center and I'm rolling it. I'm pushing my thumb, my thumb to the center and I'm rolling it. Just like if I was doing dough for breads and things like that, um, you want to take your thumb and just roll the seeds in there. And then when I'm done, if I've done it properly, um, my bowl should be empty. There's no fennel seeds coming out. There's no pepper, no salt, none of those things. I'm going to put that back in there. And then it says, um, using wet hands, form. So I'm gonna wet my hands. And I'm gonna lay them out on, I'm gonna lay them out on this cutting board so you can see um, what they look like. But using wet hands, let's wet my hands one more time. You wanna make one inch balls. So one inch meatballs, and I don't know if you've never made a meatball before, if your hands are wet and you keep rolling the ball in your hand, eventually you'll get a one inch meatball, right? And I'm gonna probably have to wet my hands again. Um, the reason that you wet your hands is it just makes the meat not stick to your hands. Some people use oil when they do this. Oh, this meatball is too big, so I'm gonna pull a little bit off. And we're gonna just roll this into a ball. Um, and then if you do this, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to continue to roll these into balls. You're going to see how I do this, but I'm going to speed it up for you because I don't want you to have to suffer through me rolling this in balls. And what I find is cooking is so much faster when you're not looking at a camera. Um, again, I give a all due respect to all the chefs and people who cook on these cooking shows. It is challenging when you're trying to cook for a camera when you just versus cooking for yourself or your family. All right, so 
that part is done it says um so once we make our ball my meatballs and that made eight meatballs um maybe you could make them into 10 meatballs but eight meatballs are generous size meatballs this is my probably my best one it's the largest one and then this is probably my smallest one and so it says in a large frying pan over medium high heat you want to warm one or two tablespoons of oil normally what i would do is i would actually um, use pam cooking spray but for this recipe i'm actually going to use olive oil um, because i want the um, olive oil to be able to immerse the, the uh, meatballs but it says uh, warm one or two tablespoons um, of oil until it's hot but not smoking add the meatballs and cook turning occasionally until brown and turning uh, cooked through so you want to cook these for um, six to eight minutes so we're going to move over to the stove and we're going to start cooking the meatballs so come with me let's make this meal so now we're starting you're going to use extra virgin olive oil we're going to use one or two because remember this is greek cooking not american cooking so we're using extra virgin olive oil we're going to use it says one to two but i'm actually just going to use two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil remember you want the oil hot but you don't want it to smoke and so i'm going to just lightly coat my whole pan so you want an even distribution so the oil is coating the whole pan and then once this heats up we're gonna make the meatballs. And so your meatballs, you're gonna cook for six to eight minutes. I'm gonna cook the meatballs. I'm gonna show you how to do it, but I'm not gonna say anything. We're gonna speed it up so you can see the whole process. Then you can slow it down if you wanna see what I'm doing. But basically, I'm trying to make sure the meatballs are browned on all sides, and then um, we'll set them aside on a plate. Now I'm back. If you don't have a meat thermometer, that's been about six minutes. I would say you want to just put a meat thermometer in there and you want your meatballs to have an internal temperature of about 145. That one is not quite hot enough. That one's not quite hot enough. So these have, these have a little bit longer to cook only because the internal temperature on most of them is um, the smaller ones are all the way cooked. The medium sized ones are all the way cooked. And then some of the larger ones, the internal temperature is almost right. So for the smaller ones, I'm going to pull them out already. Because you don't want your meatballs to overcook. We're gonna cook them for about a minute more. The one thing I don't like about cooking things like this is really like the grease popping up over the um, edge of the pan. It's just a lot of cleaning. That's why I don't fry a lot of food. So investing in a good meat thermometer is always a good way to go. Um, as you can see with your grease, you let it cool down. Don't pour it down your sink, just pour it into the garbage. Once it cools down, we're gonna let it cool a little bit and then um, we'll pour it out. So now we're gonna move, these are your finished product meatballs. Now we're gonna move to preparing the salad. So, um, and then I think that part, once we do that, we'll mix the salad and then we'll be done. So, so far, I hope you don't have any questions. Easy step-by-step -step directions. Um, I think my I think my meatballs turned out pretty well, so we'll see. All right, so we're at the final steps. You want to? I should have pre-washed my vegetables, but I did not. And um, just the same with the meat. You want to make sure you patch your vegetables dry. Um, so we want to wash all our vegetables. Let me 
make sure that everything is dry. Um, the spinach and the mint, which comes in packets, it's pre-washed, so we don't have to worry about that. All right, so I'm gonna peel your cucumber. Um, I don't know if you know how to peel a cucumber, but as long as your knife is sharp enough, you should be able to just peel it like this. Um, this knife is not as sharp as I would like it, but, or if you have a peeler, that also works, but if your knife is sharp enough, and I can grab another knife, but you can just peel this out. I'm not going to say anything. I'm actually going to, um, do this and then, um, we are going to, uh, I'm going to cut this in half. We're going to just get to the. the mixing of the salad. So I'm gonna speed up through this part of the um, demonstration just so again, you get the gist of what we're doing. All right, so now we're finished chopping. Um, after that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna, oh, sorry, we have one last thing to chop. Um, again, what you want to remember with the mint is you want to remove the mint leaves and you're not going to chop the stem. So you're just going to remove the leaves and I have to be honest with you. The reason I'm having um, a little bit of a challenge with my vegetables is that I did not cook this. Um, I didn't cook the vegetables when they were fresh. And so now they're, uh, they're, instead of being super crisp, like they would normally be, they are a little bit wilted. And so, um, just note to yourself, um, Fresh vegetables always cut the easiest. Like my tomatoes are a little bit soft, my cucumbers are a little bit soft. And then, even like the mint. Um, the mint, um, it actually chops easier when it's fresh. I mean, it still chops well, but if it's fresh, mint it will chop much finer than that and it's easier to chop again my knife is fairly sharp it's not super sharp i haven't sharpened it in a couple weeks but um it's okay now the last part we're going to take our spinach out of here and then what you're going to do is in a large bowl or no excuse me a small bowl so this is smaller than our other bowl we're going to put our spinach in Oh, I gotta, we're gonna put our mint in. We're gonna put our onions in. And our tomatoes in. And I'm gonna figure out how, I haven't figured out how I wanna, do I want small cucumbers or large cucumbers? I think I'm gonna dice it. Um, and I can do that really quickly. And then um, we're gonna mix all that up. We're gonna add um, tahini sauce to it. Please be careful when slicing vegetables. Again, remember you do not wanna have finger parts in your salads. And then, um, and then we'll plate it and we'll be done. And then we will review this meal to let you know what I think in terms of how easy it was to make. Now, skill level wise, just talking from my experience, and I, you know, as you probably noticed from my videos, I'm doing these home with these meals, but I actually cook a lot, even when I don't um, do these home order meals. And so if you're not used to cooking a lot, the meals will take a long time. If you're a person who cooks a fair bit, this meal without recording everything is actually quite, it's quite quick to make. And um, it's a refreshing, I'm eating it for dinner, but normally you would eat something like this. It's very light, so you'd eat this for lunch. And so we're gonna 
mix it up. You want to clear your space. And a clean space, remember, a clean uh, cooking space is a happy cooking space. So try to clean up as you go along. I haven't been doing that as much because I um, am recording for you guys. But you want to make sure you mix this very well because um, the heavier items, which is your cucumbers and your tomatoes, tend to end up on the bottom when you uh, are mixing it in the bowl. And so now, while we're mixing this in a small bowl, we're gonna put two to three tablespoons of olive oil in here and salt and pepper to taste. Um, and we're gonna put a drizzle of the um, lemon tahini on top of it. And so you do that when you're serving, um, but the olive oil you're gonna put in there now. So we're gonna get the olive oil and then we're gonna, we're gonna put olive oil in here. You wanna clean your hands too. We're gonna do, uh, Two to table, two to three tablespoons, which is not a lot. I'm gonna just eyeball it. I might have put a little too much. That's probably like four tablespoons, only because. And I'm gonna just mix it with my hands because I'm gonna wash my hands anyway. And then you're gonna put a little bit, probably like a dash of salt. You're not gonna do too much salt. You're just gonna put a dash of salt and. Um, for me, what I would probably put too is if I had a lemon or a lime, and actually I think I do have a lime, I would squeeze a lime on top of this or a lemon on top of this, and then that would just accent this even more um, where you're making this. But it's nice and fresh. Um, while you're doing this, and you can toss, if you're doing it for people, not just, I'm, I'm doing this just for myself, um, I am tossing it, I'm hand tossing it. Again, I wash my hands, but... If you're doing it for like, if you're serving a large portions like this for, uh, you have guests coming over, you just toss it with salad, tong, uh, salad tossers. Um, to me, I just find it easier when I toss it by hand to grab the pieces of like heavy, uh, heavy pieces of the, the salad and put it back to the top. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna plate it and then we're done. So we finally plated everything and we added the tahini sauce. So just so you can see what it looks like plated uh, without it sliding off. But um, matter of fact, I'll just move closer so you can see how it looks like plated. And I'll drop some pictures of it actually plated properly. But um, now we're gonna try it. Like I said, this is a Greek meatball with tomato cucumber salad with lemon tahini dressing. It was fairly easy to make. I enjoyed making it. It is a fresh option. Um, and it's part of the paleo diet. If people are on the paleo diet, this is just uh, one of the sun basket organic meals that I received. But what I will say about this is that if you are like everyone else currently stuck in the house, use this opportunity to make yourself better in some way. So that means that you're going to eat better. You're going to cook more. You're going to work out more. You're going to learn a skill, something like that, because there's not many opportunities in your life that you're going to have to be able to, to just be still, I should say. And, and young kids get more options than adults, but most of you guys who are watching my video, if you're adults, you know, as you get older, your life gets busy, things like that. So you may not have time to prepare meals like this on a normal basis when you're out and you're running from work and you're coming home. But right now, many people are stuck at home. And if you're stuck at home, do something that's gonna make you better after this period is over. Do something that's going to improve your life. Learn something. Do something. Learn a skill. Learn a trade. Learn a language. Um, all of those things will make you come out of this on the other side um, at least thankful for something. So we're going to taste it, see what it tastes like. Um, I suspect that it's going to be very authentic. It looks authentic. That's good. Um, I haven't even tried the meatballs yet. There's something to be said about fresh vegetables that you prepared yourself. Meatballs are good. The beef is tender. The challenge with meatballs is people tend to cook them too long and they get dry. 
You don't want to cook them too long. That's why it's key to have a meat thermometer for meatballs and things like that because you don't want to dry the meat out. The tahini sauce is nice and fresh. The olive oil really brings everything together. I'm gonna sign off, I'm gonna finish my meal, but I wanna just again remind you, please hit the like button. There's a link in the description below that gives you the discount codes. Please subscribe to my channel and leave comments in here if you've tried any of these meals. Tell me what you think. If you tried this specific meal, please tell me what you think because I want to know what you think about it. Just the freshness of the products and the taste of everything. But I just want you to know that um, these times that we're in right now, um, we will get through them and you will uh, come out the other side being better. So please continue to social distance. Please uh, take care of yourself and um, check me out next time. So it's your boy GB Reviews and we're signing off. Subscribe and like below. I'm out. Subscribe, but like, but no.